Subscribe to Chem Tutor and press the bell icon to get instant notifications. Hello students, welcome to Chem Tutor. In this video, we are going to discuss types of colligative properties. Types 1. Relative lowering of vapor pressure 2. Depression and freezing point 3. Elevation of boiling point 4. Osmotic pressure of the solution. What is relative lowering of vapor pressure? The relative lowering of vapor pressure is the ratio of lowering of vapor pressure and vapor pressure of pure solvent which is equal to the mole fraction of solute. Vapor pressure of pure solvent equals to Pa degree. Lowering of vapor pressure equals to Pa degree minus Pa. Then according to definition relative lowering of vapor pressure is. Now, what is elevation of boiling point? The difference in boiling point of solution and pure solvent is called elevation of the boiling point. Boiling point of pure solvent equal to Tb degree. Boiling point of the solution is equal to Tb. Increase in boiling point, delta Tb equals to Tb minus Tb degree. This is known as elevation in boiling point for dilute solution. Delta Tb is directly proportional to mole fraction. So delta Tb is equal to K into Wb into Ma divided by Mb into Wa. Therefore delta Tb is equal to Kb into M, where Kb is boiling point elevation constant or molal elevation constant or abelioscope constant. The vapor pressure curve for solution lies below the curve for pure water. What is depression of freezing point? According to Rolf's law, when a non-volatile solid is added to the solvent its vapor pressure decreases and it would become equal to that of solid solvent at lower temperature, thus, the difference in the freezing point of pure solvent and that of the solution is known as depression in freezing point. The freezing point of pure solvent is equal to Tf degree. The freezing point of solution is equal to Tf. The decrease in freezing point, delta Tf equals to Tf degree minus Tf. This is known as depression in freezing point. Delta Tf is equal to K into Wb into Ma divided by Mb into Wa. Delta Tf is equal to Kf into M. Where, molality is equal to Wb into 1000 divided by Mb into Wa. Diagram showing depression of freezing point of solvent in a solution. What is osmotic pressure of the solution? Suppose a concentrated solution of copper sulfate, deep blue in color, is placed in a beaker and water, or a dilute solution of copper sulfate, is added slowly along the walls of the beaker without much disturbing the concentrated copper sulfate solution, the two layers are more or less well defined. Now, if the beaker is allowed to stand, it is observed that after a few days, the solution in the beaker becomes uniformly blue throughout. This must be obviously due to the fact that the particles of the solute Cu and SO4 ions move slowly into the solvent and the molecules of the solvent water move into the copper sulfate solution. In other words, the particles of the solute and solvent mix spontaneously into each other. The spontaneous mixing of the particles of the solute present in the solution and the solvent present above the solution to form a homogeneous mixture is called diffusion, just as the term is used for the spontaneous mixing of gases to form homogeneous mixtures. Osmosis the net spontaneous flow of the solvent molecules from the solvent to the solution or from a less concentrated solution to a more concentrated solution through a semi-permeable membrane is called osmosis, Greek push. 
When the membrane permits the solvent molecules to come out through the membrane, it is called exosmosis. When the membrane permits the solvent molecules to enter inside, it is called endosmosis. Osmotic pressure The extra pressure that is applied to stop the flow of solvent to solution across a semi-permeable membrane is called osmotic pressure of the solution. Expression for the osmotic pressure Reverse osmosis The direction of osmosis can be reversed, if a pressure larger than the osmotic pressure is applied to the solution side, now the pure solvent flows out of the solution through the semi-permeable membrane, this phenomenon is called reverse osmosis. Thanks for watching.